in this pump us up. After more than five weeks, Bitcoin is finally breaking out of this symmetrical triangle, but we're not out of the woods just yet. There's one key level that we need to look at on this chart to actually confirm that Bitcoin can get a complete breakout out of this symmetrical triangle to the upside. Guys, don't milk your chickens just yet. As that symmetrical triangle is breaking out, we are still approaching the very, very, very heavy resistance zone that we've been finding heavy resistance for over three weeks here, right around this absolutely key level of about 11,000 US dollars, guys. This is no small task to get above this just yet. However, if we do breach this key area, then this breakout is going to go much further and we'll be showing you where I think it will go if we do surpass the $11,000 mark. Because guys, keep in mind, $11,000 is not the full breakout target. It's actually much higher if we break that level. And as well, will Bitcoin continue to repeat this trajectory after trading in between the two most key Fibonacci levels and head up to this awesome target before the end of the year, just a few months away? Wow, welcome back, Mr. Sisters, Twisters, and Fiat Fisters. Guys, we have so much to be delving into in this webisode. Bitcoin's price seemingly has just broken out of the symmetrical triangle that we've been trading in for over five weeks. But the most important and key thing is that we break this key level. Otherwise, guys, at this point in the formation of the pattern, we could face a rejection and swing very strongly to the opposite side. So as long as this happens, then this breakout actually may be confirmed to be to the upside. And boy, oh boy, there is a lot in store if we can cement an actual bullish break finally above this three-year symmetrical triangle and finally start setting some actually very nice macro higher highs, guys. That is the key. That's what we've been watching for. This has been in consolidation for basically like five months now. So we are on the brink of absolutely savage gainers, guys. So as well, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. We will be giving away this ledger in this webisode because we did hit our like goal. But guys, let's try to hit 1K likes in this webisode. And as always, to enter for future ledgers, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment below. Including your comment if you think this is going to be an actual breakout, if so, to what target? Or if you think we're about to get rejected at this key level and swing the opposite way. Wow, and guys, as we've been saying for the past few days, there is going to be a big breakout. And a lot of you actually have been signing up to actually trade this. And according to my affiliate dashboard this morning, a lot of you, in fact, did trade that, guys. So as well, if you have experience trading and you want to support the channel, make sure to use Tyler Crypto 1 or Tyler Crypto 2 to get 60 120 or $300 bonuses added on to your trading in Bybit. Only if you have experience and only if you want to support the channel. Wow, is it getting moist in here or did I just make a mess? Guys, so if we go to the symmetrical triangle, this is something we've been watching and basically everybody has been watching because this has been the most exciting, again, most congruent, most beautiful, most likely pattern that we've been trading in. One of the nicest symmetrical triangles I've ever seen, especially in terms of remaining valid the entire time. As we pointed out yesterday, the previous symmetrical triangle we were in for about three months, just a few months ago, uh, had a premature pumpulation actually before halfway of the actual triangle completed. So this is a much prettier one. And so far we're getting pumps at this very important level. So one of the things I added to this chart actually late last night, this smaller triangle, which seemed to be much more accurate with these smaller touch points over the last few hours. And as you can see here, we spent uh, about over a day worth of four hour candles trading right at the bottom. And again, we're gonna illustrate that on this chart as well on the one hour chart, but on this four hour chart, we did get a nice break and actually pushed us above some of these key levels. But again, I don't wanna to get too excited just yet for a few key reasons. As you guys can see on this chart, the exact level where we're currently sitting, uh, even the wicks are in the exact same level. All three of these wicks over the last uh, few weeks have wicked up to right about 10,970, uh, which is where this wick is so far. And all three of these candles have faced resistance slightly below that, right around 10,900 in 30 as you can see as you can see this is where all three of these candle bodies are and then all three of these wicks are at the exact same level as well so again we really want to break out of this level as it's currently been resistance to the upside for a few weeks now and guys we want to be cautious with these patterns because if we face rejections with this symmetrical triangle you can technically switch and kind of flip to the opposite side actually a lot of shorts were liquidated because of this move so again, I'm really excited to see how the next uh, even 12 hours plays out. But for the most part, guys, what's absolutely key now is that we have uh, broken up to our previous lower highs here on this chart back at the beginning of October, the very first day, and then the 27th of September. But guys, let's be honest, we need to break 11,000 with this breakout to confirm it, right? We need to break 11,000. We need to get rid of these highs. We need to set a higher high above these previous highs. And ultimately, $11,000 is also just a huge target, despite even if these weren't exactly where we face resistance, which they are, that's just another reason why we need to break basically just inches and inches above 
where we've moved up to so far. So again, if we break that over the next few hours, because again, I think it's gonna happen pretty fast if we're gonna see it, then breaking 11K is very bullish for the market, and I think we'll get a complete breakout. So what is the actual full breakout target of the symmetrical triangle? And guys, beautifully enough, what this symmetrical triangle would break out to is again, roughly like 12,200 to 12,300, which is absolutely exactly what we wanna see on these charts for many reasons, but ultimately it would push us above this insanely hard level horizontal level of resistance that we got rejected off multiple times on our last pump. After breaking out of this three month symmetrical triangle that I mentioned earlier in the video, this is the premature population right here that ended up coming back into the pattern and broke out normally like uh, this symmetrical triangle. But as you can see, 12,000 to 12,500 was huge resistance. In fact, we only got up to 12,500 once within that time period. Three other times, the highest we got up to was about 12,100 or about 12,080 even. And three times we got rejected there. So if this symmetrical triangle completely breaks out, then that would give us enough juice to actually completely break those previous highs that we just could not get above. And again, we got rejected three times exactly at those highs, right? First time right here uh, at the beginning of August, then two weeks into August, and then the very first day of September is where we also got rejected at that exact level. And most importantly, breaking above this would put us above our seven year historical support line that we've been trading under ever since the crash in March, basically. We got above it very, very shortly when we did get that pump above 12K, but as soon as we came back down, uh, obviously, then we went below this line. So as you can see, for the past seven years, this has been key support. We've gotten so many key bounces there. And guys, as you can see, if we zoom in a little bit here, uh, as of right now, we're still below that. So if this does break to the upside, then the target would actually put us back above that. And that is just insanely, insanely ultra bullish. Now guys, with that being said, again, this is just another way to look at this after hugging the bottom of this uh, ascending triangle here. Now we're literally just coming up to the very top of this. So again, this is a bullish pattern. If we get a break out of this ascending triangle, the target is the same right around 12,002, 12,003. But again, this is why I have this chart on here. So it illustrates that even though we've gotten a nice breakout here, we need to actually completely follow through and break these previous two highs right here. Again, back on October 1st and September 27th, guys. We need to be breaking this area because we're at the exact same level as, as both of these other two over the last few weeks. And if we really wanna see a confirmation of this pattern, then we need to break this level. And guys, it doesn't get more simple than this. It's literally at $11,000 basically exactly. Massively huge. And as well, what I wanna highlight here is that this is basically just the last bull market overlaid uh, atop our current one. And again, price action doesn't follow this exactly and we don't expect it to, but the reason I have this on here is because of this key area where we consolidate, where we consolidate between the 786 and the golden pocket, which is where I have these two blue bars here, which is exactly what happened in the previous cycle. So basically we get rejected initially, we come back down, find support, and then it, it was lift off after that. And guys, if that does happen, which again, none of this has been invalidated yet, meaning it could completely be the case. In fact, it looks as though Bitcoin does wanna hold support at this golden pocket of the last three years. And let me just uh, take this off so you can see exactly again what I'm talking about. We just pull out the Fibonacci retracement here, go from the high, go down to the low there. As you can see, this is exactly where the 786 is and this is exactly where the golden pocket is, the two most key areas the two most key areas in my opinion. And if we bounce here at the seven, or if we bounce here at the golden pocket, then again, guys, that could be the ultimate confirmation that we needed to actually break bullish out of this three year symmetrical triangle. Massive, is this finally the return of volatility we've been looking for? Uh, I think personally over the next few days, it is. Uh, I think it's guaranteed at this point just because uh, price action has squinched and squeezed so much that the pressure has built and now a move is much, much, much more likely. And guys, ultimately what we have to look at as well is the SPX, which is also still on an uptrend after holding the 21 week, the 21 day and the 50 day moving averages. Uh, SPX is doing well. So that's allowing Bitcoin, in my opinion, to also do what it naturally should do. Perfect timing, I think. Um, and yeah, I just hope this continues. Uh, but ultimately we need to break this key level of 11,000 before we get too excited, even though we've broken above this. You can see we do inch up sometimes, okay? But we face rejection, so we need to break 11,000. We need to break this key area right here, this line, uh, you see it on this chart as well, right here, sorry, right here. That is what we need to break and that's when we get ultra bullish. Wow, so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave your comment below of what you think this move is doing. Do you think this is finally going to be the breakout or do you think we still have a few more weeks left? And as well guys, if you're interested in trading and you wanna get those bonuses, make sure to sign up with the link below and also you can input Tyler Crypto 1, Tyler Crypto 2. Even if you've signed up before and haven't deposited or have deposited, you can use these bonuses again.